there and welcome to another Genshin discussion. Today's topic is on the Navia story quest. Before I even go into detail, I have to say that at least in my opinion, Hoyoverse has been doing better and better when it comes to pretty much any type of quest ever since, this, since Sumeru started. Yeah, the last quest in the Ordo questline was a bit boring, as there was a lot of text without any voice acting, but everything else was amazing. Before I go ahead, I want to say that this video will go over spoilers from Navia Story Quest, so if you want to experience it for yourself, please do so and leave this video. Now let's talk about Navia. So throughout the Archon Quest, we have seen multiple parts of Navia's personality, from the open and happy to the doubtful and saddened. The Story Quest takes her and expands her a bit more in the direction of her doubts that she has about being the leader of Spina di Ursula. We hear about how great her father and mother were in the past and how good Spina was before, and that sows some seeds of doubt into her. What doesn't help is the small organization led by a previous Spina member that wants to take it down and destroy Poisson. Disgruntled individuals that hate her father now hate her and Spina de Ursula itself. But let's take it step by step. It all starts with meeting Navia randomly in the court of Fontaine while she runs some errands. This beginning part is mainly to introduce a bunch of lore about her family and Spina, like the fact that the Aquabus lines are named after her family, or that her father was a very stubborn man. Then later, in the newly rebuilt Poisson, we meet Coulter, a member of Spina, who tells us about uh, Romeu, the guy who, led the, who leads the haters group and that he was close to Marcel and might end up being a problem. This starts happening almost immediately, as after returning to the court to finish another errand, some guys follow and later get confronted by Navia and the Traveler. After this, Navia talks to them and says that she wants to talk to Romeu and bury the hatchet. Unfortunately, this is not what ends up happening. After some acute interactions with Adele and between the Traveler and Navia, everyone goes to sleep for the night, but some people are still up and scheming. The next day, it all goes downhill as Romeu, instead of talking things out, went all in and brought explosives to destroy the Clementine line and to bury Poisson below the rubble. The Traveler goes to stop this while Navia helps in Poisson, but plot twist. Coulter is on Romeu's side and has betrayed Navia. But why would he do something like that? Well, he says that Navia is the one at fault for everything going wrong with Poisson. Her mother, father, Silver, Melus. He blames their death on her. He's also saying that the people around her are only there because she's the daughter of Spina's leader. Navia does take these words to heart, but still she knows that now is not the time to feel bad for herself. With or without the people's love being genuine, she still has a duty for them. And so she beats Coulter and goes on to help the Traveler in stopping the debris from the Strang Poisson again. But where, where did the, those boulders even come from? And, no, really. Maybe some more explosives set up at the top of the hill? Because the explosives the Traveler went to never went off. Either way, my one question now is, where did Navi's cannons even come from? In the normal in normal gameplay, you kind of like, you don't really care where the burst animation or what it does and where things come from. But I kind of wish they were set up in the quest itself or something like that. So maybe they are just some geo constructs that help her in combat. Quite probable, but it would be nice to maybe see them on the field. Anyway, after the boulder fight, Navia is really weakened and also quite down mentally. She thinks that everyone around her who has protected her since childhood only did so because of who her parents were, that she doesn't really deserve their true love and affection. She has the Traveler if they truly are partners and the Traveler says yes. In one of the only times that the Traveler talks. Oivers, pretty please, I'm begging you. Allow the Traveler to talk more. Seriously. Uh, with Navia and the Traveler back in Poisson, Florent says that he has one final surprise. Navia, with her self-doubt and being really tired from what just happened that day, doesn't really want any more surprises, but this one ends up being the best surprise ever. Because Navia and Florin has been recently in, uh, talking for to get the statue of, of Navia's parents made to be placed in Poisson. But they have been brainstorming for a proper design and haven't really gotten to one yet. Well, that was all a lie by Florin. 
Him and the rest of Poisson's residents have already chosen a design and paid the sculptor to make it. The design, you ask? Callus, Clementine, and Navia standing proudly as a family. The statue isn't yet done, but at least now Navia knows about the design and how it will look. While Navia didn't really think herself as worthy of being part of the statue at that point, everyone else was thinking the opposite. They do indeed love Navia like family and will always be there for her. Well, what can I say? Another very beautiful story quest and more lore on the general history of Fontaine. Honestly, I think it was pretty easy to realize that the lines were named after Navia's family, but I never made the connection. And another nice thing is that by the end, Coulter does decide to follow Navia again and the changes that she will bring to Duspina. Unfortunately, though understandably, Navia doesn't really fully forgive him, but he does tell him that he's welcome in Poisson after his sentence is done. Our thing is that we never really saw Romeu or at least we don't know which of the characters that are showcased in the in the quest line in the quest is Ramu, but it doesn't really matter, I would say. Anyways, that's it from me. If you have enjoyed this video, why not leave a like, comment, or subscribe? Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.